Family, hello and welcome back to my channel. Lillian Francis here. It is my goal to make learning Ableton Live as not annoying as possible. Today I'm gonna to be teaching y'all how to edit video in Ableton Live. If you're like, Rich? Editing video? I know, right? It's so fun. It's very dope. And this is a feature that I do not see utilized a lot. So I thought I'd make a video and explain how to do it. If you're thinking, why would I use Ableton Live to edit a video when I have a video editing software? That is a great question. I want to use Ableton Live for this case of video editing because I was gonna be doing a lot of splicing different songs together, trying different stuff out, using a compressor, EQing, basically just doing a bunch of audio stuff. And I don't really understand Premiere's audio editing software as well and I know Ableton Live so well that it's just super easy to edit on this. So this can come in super handy if you are creating a vlog and you want to make the soundtrack in live or you have a movie that you're trying to score or maybe you're just trying to cut up some sweet visuals for a music video you're putting out. This last week I've been editing a vlog because I went down to Joshua Tree and took a lot of video. So I did most of my video editing and premiere and then I'm just importing it into live as I am adding in the soundtrack and kind of formatting all the audio. So I'm gonna open up my Joshua Tree project and show you guys what's Gucci. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Time to dive into the project. Let's go. <gasps> Splash. Hello family, welcome to my Proj Proj. So editing video in Ableton is super, super chill y'all. As you can see here, this is my project that I've been working on for a couple days. Unicycling is a workout. It is chilly out there, but you know what? When you were riding, when you were on that singular wheel, the blood is pumping. <laughs> Okay, fabulous. That's what we have. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So let's -na 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 make some room in this proj proj. So the first things first is I'm going to grab my video. So I've already created a blog, vlog. I've created a vlog, a video log, L-O-L. -L. Creating vlogs is hella funny. Side note, just like taking a video of yourself, ugh, it just, it's so silly. So fam, all you have to do is grab your video and just drag and drop it right on in. All right, so after we drag this in, it will just look like an audio clip because it basically is audio. The only difference is it has these little, what are they called? Sprocket holes. It has sprocket holes, so you know it's a video. And then you just have to right click and hit video window or use the hotkeys, which I recommend, option, command, V and your little movie will appear. For now, I'm just gonna make this little small baby baby. And remember, you can use that option command V hotkey to disable it as well. Something to know is that the video will only play in arrangement view. So if I am to take this little guy, hit tab, and then drop her in session view and hit play, it will now go black. So in order to get it back, we can either just reactivate our arrangement by hitting our back to arrangement and then- Hello climbers down there, tell me about- There we go. We're back. All right, so first off, just some commands that we can use with our video. All the same commands, basically. We can use basically all the same commands with our audio as with our video. So for example, I can split a clip by hitting Command E, make another split. I can drag this around, so. Expressing its individuality and I love Or I can just duplicate this piece, right? So it would be going over and over. What and... is this guy doing? Ooh. Let's duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Do it, do it, do it. LOL. Also, BTW, you'll see that it's doing like a little black clicky and like kind of blacking out for a second. And it's kind of annoying. I haven't figured out how to make it not do this, but when you export it, you don't have the issue. So I just ignore it. So not only can we move this guy around and duplicate and copy and paste and whatever else you want to do, but if we turn on our warp here, you can add warp markers to your you know, video well, just like you were... would to audio. So let's add some warp markers around here. Da -da -da. And we can drag our warp markers just like we would normally with Ableton, right? So let's watch this. Is fire lemons, fam. Fire lemons are the fun. Fire lemons are the so most. So slow it down. They are actually VV and then sweet. fast, fast. That lemon. So yeah, you can mess around with the warm markers here and that's fun. You could also like make the entire thing longer. Just hit command E to split off a section so that I can hold down shift and then drag it out and like make the whole thing slower. Something to note is that unfortunately we cannot reverse consolidate or 
crop our video without rendering it to audio. So for example, if I hit R here to reverse my audio sample or reverse any clip, we'll convert it to an audio clip. I don't want to proceed. So something we can do because we are working in Ableton Live is use all of our audio plugins. So you can use more practical plugins like your EQ, right? If you want to cut the lows or the highs or whatever the hell you want to do. Or you can use some like fun plugins like let's use our pitch drop plugin, pitch hack. So I could drop this bad boy down an octave. By the way, if you just hold shift and press your down arrow, it'll hop down an octave. <laughs> Love that. Let's throw in like a delay situation. <laughs> Something to keep in mind, fam. If you have two videos, I'm just going to crop this guy, pull it down here. Yeah, let's go over, let's find it. It will play the audio from both of them, but you will only see the video of the track that has the higher number. So in this case, 6J tree is higher than 5J tree. So even though this one's on top, this one is the one that's going to be seen. You can also like deactivate this clip if you didn't want it to be playing, but you didn't want to change this. Also, LOL guys, I hope you're getting some sweet, sweet <laughs> previews of my vlog. It's gonna be coming out in a couple weeks. So subscribe if you wanna be here when it comes out. It's really fun. As I have told you, the purpose of me dragging in this video into Ableton was to then add my music to it. So what I did for this video is I realized I have so many unfinished beats that I really love on my computer, but they're only like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes long, and they're not developed as a song. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna use a bunch of those and splice them together. So what I did is I exported the beats that I was gonna be working with. This is a folder with all of my songs, with all of my beats that I'm gonna be incorporating into this video. So I'm just gonna select them and drop them all here. Just a hot tip. I don't wanna do this right now, but if you ever want to drag and drop a bunch of files onto Ableton and you want each one to have its own individual audio track instead of just one after the other on one audio track, hold down command and then you drop and then an audio track will be created for each one. Ta-da! I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna hit Command Z, my handy dandy undo. And now look, we have all of these beats that I potentially wanna be using in my JTree vlog. I'm also going to unwarp all of these songy songs because I don't want them all at 120 BPM. So I just selected them all and then hit warp. And now we are chilling. What I did over here is I just started watching the video and then found a beat that I thought would go with it. So this first scene is kind of like chill, like hello. Good morning from Joshua Tree, hello. So I wanna kinda of just like a, mmm, mmm, a mood. So I think this is the one I end up going with. So what are we gonna do? Let's try lining up this first song here. Good morning from Joshua Tree, hello. Cool. We have made it. We are out here. All right, now we're chilling. The first thing I can do now that I have this competing soundtrack music is just adding compressor, which is like one of the main reasons that I wanted to bring my video into Ableton is because I don't want to use Premiere's compressor. That's weird. No offense. I'm sure Premiere has a wonderful compressor. I'm gonna throw a little compressor here on my soundtrack and let's retitle this soundtrack. All right, I did this on my soundtrack and I'm going to use my searching compression by turning this guy on. It's hiding under this little aero baby situation. And I'm gonna get audio input from JTree vlog too. And so every time I start shit chattering away in my vlog, I want the audio to drop down. And I want to set my release to be like way slow, right? So the release in this case, 722 milliseconds, which means that after my compressor stops getting the input from 5J tree vlog, it will take 722 milliseconds to go back to normal volume. So that way in between like my talking and stuff, if I'm just talking normally, it won't be like bouncing up and down like an EDM track. It's just like, you know, down to chill when I'm talking and then comes back up when I'm not talking. So let's try this guy out. And then obviously put on my threshold. Good morning from Joshua Tree, hello. We have made it, we are out here. There we go. Alrighty, so maybe after like a minute or two of this song, I didn't wanna switch it up and go to the next song. So I just look for another song that I want. All right, that's cool. Let's bring this little guy over here, drag her over, and I'm just gonna find like a good transition spot. Okay, it's super helpful to turn off your quantization when you are working with video. So if I hit this to none, I can like scrub through. 
lot easier than if I had a one bar quantization happening. So I could scrub through, find a good place for like the audio transition. Oh, All right, cool. There's a little transition Hello. Hello. on this little silly number. You're going to Hidden Valley already. Cool. And this is kind of like a chill spot in this song, so it's probably a good place to transition. I'm just going to delete this, bring this little noodle in. I'm just going to phase it out. Hello. Boys because <laughs> okay so anyways what i did is i just kept going through here picking different sounds and songs and throwing them in all righty the last thing i do want to show you guys is how to use take lanes to automate your video if you have ableton live 11 you have the take lane capabilities we're going to create a new audio track and the first thing we're going to do is just like record a tiny snippet of audio which will like activate our take lanes. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna create a little loop, a little baby loop, and then arm your track, hit record. Awesome. So every time one of those just like re-recorded over itself, it actually created a new take lane. So if we open our take lanes by either right clicking and hitting show take lanes or hitting option command you, we will see our take lanes here. Look at those fly little babies. And I can delete these audio guys here. And what I'm going to do now is drag video into my take lanes. So let's grab some of my raw Joshua tree footage. Where are my Joshua Tree photos? Nerd, those are just glamour shots. All right, we're just going to just throw in some little videos here. Do, 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 do. If you wanna create a new take lane, you can just hit Shift Option T and add as many as you would like. All right, now I'm going to add maybe just one song. So create a new audio track. Let's grab Rage Face. Let's add this one in. This is a song that I noodled with with my friend Skylar, i.e. Make Believe, his music Fucking rocks, fam. It slaps. Check him out on Spotify. Anyways, here's what I can do. I dragged in this little songy song and noticed, well, it would be a lot easier to comp this if we had this guy actually matching up with the grid. Um, luckily, I know the tempo here, which is 130. If you don't know, you should find out because now it will be a lot easier as I edit my take lanes and shit will just line up more. So what you're gonna do to bring in your videos into like the the ultimate comp is just hit my beat and this will allow me to select different portions of the video. So I'm just going to randomly select some little video portions here and let's just watch this, see how it looks. I'm gonna hit option, command V to open it up and ooh, that's naughty. <laughs> Okay, so fun. Comping, chill AF. All right, I think that's enough. I think we went through most of the deets. Er, I know, we do have to learn how to export it. So exporting is just like normal. What you're gonna do is just loop the amount of time you wanna export. So we'll do this amount of time, command L to loop, and then just file export audio slash video. If you've ever wondered what TF is the video doing here, this is why. Also shift command R is my hotkey and I encourage you all to use hotkey. So we're gonna do that now here, shift command R. All right, fam, export videos. You can just turn the video on and off here. If for some reason it's grayed out and you can't turn it on, make sure the encode PCM is on. Cause look, if you turn this off, you can't turn this guy on. And you can change your video encoder settings here. And then you can also edit the video export settings here, change your resolution, frame rate, bit rate, et cetera. And then we'll just do a little example. So let's export this guy, Joshua Tree Vlogger. You can see I've already done some here but let's do it to my desky top. And then we're going to open up my desky top and oop, 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 blurg. There we go. You can see that a MP3 copy was saved, a MP4 copy was saved, and a WAV copy was saved. <laughs> this was such a fun 
experiment for me. I haven't released any music in the last like year and it's driving me absolutely bonkers because I feel like a musician pretending to be a musician because I spend all my time making music and yet I don't release any music. It's like, what am I doing? And so exporting all these little snippets of beats and putting them together for the final product, which you haven't seen yet, but it looks so good, is so gratifying and feels so freaking good. It makes me feel like I actually am accomplishing things. I would love if y'all subscribe so that when I release this video, y'all will find out about it and then you guys can watch it and pay attention to which beats you like and then let me know. And so I know which beats I should make into actual songs and which beats are like eh, going back into the, the beat closet. Okay. I think that is it. That is the basics of how to edit a video in Ableton. And really only the basics are available. So that's like pretty much it should cover it. I'm going to be linking some more info on like troubleshooting your video in Ableton just directly from the Ableton live manual, which by the way, if y'all are reading the live manual, you are missing out. That shit is mm, the Bible, dude. I love the Ableton live manual. Oh, all right, family. Fabulous. Everyone, you have a delightful day or um, life. Why not? And that is my time. Thank you for coming.